The age of human expansion into the vast realm of space is overdue, but it is finally coming to fruition. This is translating into a diverse set of missions set for the next decade, and this will lead to the first off-world generation of humans. So let's take a quick look at some of the most important space missions happening in the short-term future. Beginning at number 7, the Lunar Gateway. This is a really exciting in-development space station which will eventually orbit the moon, and it will play a critical role for NASA's future missions. It will initially be able to carry a crew of four, along with a solar-powered communications hub, a science laboratory, and holding areas for rovers and other robots. The space station will not be crewed continuously, like the ISS, and the Canada Arm 3 will tend to experiments and repairs when the station is vacant. Now, this station has received a little bit of criticism since it's not going to be a refueling station and it's not actually establishing infrastructure on the moon. Nevertheless, it may actually become useful once a lunar base is established and this will allow the station to become a rendezvous point. We get to number 6 and it's the Martian Moon's mission. So right now there are quite a few missions being planned for the Red Planet, but what about its mysterious moons? Well, the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency announced that it will collect samples from Phobos and actually do flybys of Deimos. Let's just hope that there are no alien bases there. Anyways, it plans to do this by using a robotic space probe lander and gather samples and then eventually returning the samples to Earth by 2029. So this mission is pretty difficult because the craft not only has to pull this off with a round trip, but it also needs to perform a weird kind of orbit since the moons have a relatively weak gravitational field. So if JAXA can pull this off, it would be pretty incredible. That's number 5 and it's the Psyche mission. There are a handful of asteroid missions set for the next decade, but this particular journey is very unique. The asteroid Psyche appears to be a nickel iron core of an earlier planet, and this could actually help us discover how planets are even formed, and it might even reveal some secrets about our own Earth's core. The orbiter will also utilize a new laser communication method which encodes data in photons instead of radio waves. This theoretically allows for more data volume and it can become a good model for future communication. Another important and different asteroid mission will involve the Hera craft and this will test whether a kinetic deflection can be used to shift the orbit of an asteroid. Due to launch in 2024, here we'll actually study a smaller asteroid, which is also the smallest asteroid visited so far. Now the collision will be done in 2022, but here we'll arrive a couple years later and actually study how much this asteroid has deflected. And it could lead to a planetary defense system. We get to number 4 and it's the Titan mission. It was imperative to include this ambitious trip, and it would actually be nice to see NASA focus more on these types of missions, but anyways, the Dragonfly will launch in 2026 and eventually land in 2034 on the remote moon called Titan, which orbits Saturn. So yes, we are finally putting a multicopter on a different body which isn't Earth, and it will explore Titan's diverse environments, which are believed to contain organic compounds which support the basic building blocks of life. The previous Cassini mission provided usable data for a suitable landing site, and if everything goes well, the craft will actually fly more than 100 miles, which is nearly double the distance covered by all the Mars rovers combined. Once again, this will be a very challenging mission to pull off, since Titan has an extreme temperature variant along with higher pressures. But it can reveal very important answers on how life is even formed, and it may actually spark more exploration. We get to number 3, and it's the JUICE mission. The European Space Agency will be launching a Jupiter Ice Moons Explorer in just a few years, and it will arrive at its destination around 2029. It will explore Jupiter and three of its moons, which consist of Callisto, Ganymede, and the mysterious Europa. This explorer will study the dynamics of the moons, and will hopefully detect signs of subsurface water reservoirs. Ultimately, JUICE will determine the thickness of these ice layers on these moons, and it might even detect organic compounds. Now to me, I find Europa really interesting, and it kind of reminds me a bit of Pandora's box and the fact that we don't really know what can be contained in its oceans, but it would be pretty amazing if we just even find basic life forms. But actual exploration of this moon is going to take a underwater robotic explorer, and that's not going to happen probably for another decade. We get to a very important mission, and it's number 2, Artemis. It's hard to imagine that nearly half a century has passed since man has last stepped on the moon. Well, we are finally going back. 
and NASA intends to send people to the moon by 2024. Now this program will involve the SLS rocket and the Orion spacecraft, which carries a team to the moon and back. Now astronauts will first land on the lunar south pole, and this will act a bit of a stepping stone for getting to Mars. Habitat's new tech and spacecraft will all eventually exist on the moon, and if you combine this vision with the current private space race, then it's only going to be a matter of time until we see the moon as a tourist destination. Let's just hope it doesn't take another 50 years. So yes, I'm going to do something that's really obvious in Getch number 1, which is the SpaceX manned mission. And this is also going to be interesting to see if one of the boldest companies in the world will actually reach Mars within 5 years. The Starship and Heavy Launch Vehicle will be the key to reaching Mars. It will become the company's front-running vehicle for not only reaching the Red Planet, but for also launching cargo into low Earth orbit. It will have a capacity of 100 metric tons, and it will launch with over 72 mega newtons of thrust, which is about twice as much compared to the iconic Saturn V. So it's going to cause massive earthquakes when it takes off. Now the first mission to Mars is going to involve sending cargo and actually evaluate environmental factors. And then a second mission is targeted for 2024. And this will hopefully involve cargo and crew, which will also be the first steps to building a city on Mars. And I don't know about me, but I'm curious about what you guys think about living on Mars. Would you actually do it? Or would you prefer to stay on Earth? So once again, thanks for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. And also make sure to subscribe to my channel.